channel. My name is Chelsea Scalona. I'm a digital artist living in Berlin. Today we are going to talk about my first art market, which was an erotic fair and I really thought that it was going to be an epic fail. Last Sunday I was part of the Naughty Summer Market here in Berlin. An erotic theme art market fair event, they had everything going on there. I was lucky enough to be selected to be part of their event. One of the things that I have been trying to do in order to get my art business rolling and going is to take part in art markets. Good morning guys! Today we are in my living room because I am setting up the table displays. I am now finishing the table display that I am planning to do that day. And I am pretty happy with how it's looking and how everything looks like cohesive and belonging to the same brand. My only concern is that I still don't have the table measurements and while I thought that I was like not bringing that much inventory and stock to this art market, I have a lot of work, even though I make a selection for the market, so it's like a lot. <laughs> and it has taken me the entire dinner table at home. I hope that the table in the market is at least this big or maybe even bigger. I don't know if bigger will be that great because as you can see, I have taken the entire table, but things are like pretty well spread and not like crumbing on top of each other. My only concern is actually the browsing of the items. Like I, I want that people to feel free to come and like, you know, do this and see everything that's going to be there. But like, for instance, back here, I mean, I, I don't think that people will browse this one so much. It's a bit uncomfortable back here. Unless that I add them here, because like here I have the stickers maybe i can move the stickers over here and then bring all of them here this is looking great all of my small prints were luckily able to fit them here and i have the large prints in two places i hope people don't feel too shy to come and browse them there there's my price list the deals, of course, I'm, I'm guessing that I'm gonna get some questions about this one because I couldn't place them anywhere. So I have to like put them here and like, hey, these are the deals. I'm not sure if that actually picks up that well. And yeah, this is how it's looking so far. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm just going to move those things. I'm going to switch them and see if I feel better about it because People can always say like, oh, I want this sticker, this sticker, and I can grab it and give it to them. But for the postcards, I do need them to browse them. Because otherwise there are like too many different designs and they will might miss one that they like. In future markers, if this is something that I want to keep doing, because I, I don't know that yet. <laughs> I want to get one of those things that they um, turn around and you can see all the things. But just for now, this is how it's looking. I managed to hang this with these cords that I got with the wooden pegs that I bought. I think it's looking pretty fine. Of course, here in the high, if I finally get like this wall space, I have some prints to hang then and to call the attention. So there will be the attention grabbers in the vertical for me. So yeah, this is how it's going so far. 
Yes, I made the move and yes, definitely way better than the first time. Yeah, now I can have all the stickers evenly placed here, comfortable to reviews and all postcards on the side, which I believe it will be easier to browse and to like understand they are the same thing. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I wanted. Beautiful! I think it's all ready. It's looking great. And now it comes the sad part. Put it all back together. Pick up the stuff and pack them. day it was from 2 p.m. until 10 in the night and we definitely got some hiccups when we arrived to the place. I didn't have really all the information from the event and I didn't know what was the size of the table that I was going to be placed on. We got there and find out at the moment that I was going to only have half table for myself and I was actually kind of prepared to have an entire table for myself alone. My tablecloth was not big enough so I could not use it. I had requested a wall for hanging some art samples of my work so that people could see what I had there, maybe catch their attention from the distance. When we got to see the wall, the wall was a brick wall and the only really suitable wall that we had where I could maybe hang some art was at our left side because we decided to go for a table that was in a corner which ended up being a good decision because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to actually hang something in the walls. Nonetheless, we managed to solve all of these little stones in our road that we hit. We managed to set up the entire table and everything was looking really beautiful. We were very happy with how everything looked cohesive and appealing and very, very nice. Even though I didn't have like a large variety of products, what I did have was a large variety of work. Since I am already have a huge body of work, this allowed me to actually have a lot of products to display on the table. We ended up getting the entire table for ourselves because apparently the other person that should have been sharing the table with us didn't show up and the organizers allow us to spread across the entire table without charging us more than what they already have established. 
So the market opened like a little bit past the hour, like half an hour past the initial time. It is slowly start to having people flowing inside of the place. I was actually worried because this was an indoor event, not an outdoor market and I was not really sure if there were gonna be enough people flowing and walking and getting to know about the events but luckily the place was actually very crowded for the most part of the event people were really interested in what was happening there what were the exhibitions and performances that were taking place they were really interested in seeing what was I having on display and watching my work and asking me if I was the artist behind it and how I draw all those things. The people reaction was like really great and really encouraging for me having a body of work that was completely out of context of the market thing. Even though it was a very crowded market, the time just went flying for me. I did not feel the time passing because I did not have lots of pausing moments. I was very engaging like a lot with a lot of people making sales even with that in one hand it was not too chaotic or hectic so i was not feeling overwhelmed or heavily exhausted from having to interact with people or anything i think the event for me had like this nice balance between having people and engaging and making sales also at the same time not be too overwhelmed by having to like look at too many people and watching the table and I don't know having people waiting to be able to you know make a sell to them and all that so on that note I was actually very pleased with the entire experience for me for my first time doing this this is also the reason why I only got footage from me setting up almost the end of the table and just when we are like almost leaving and the event was just almost over and there were like like not many people there anymore because during the more busy moments of the events I did not have time to like pick up the phone and maybe record something for us at least we had a lot of fun we had a great time there we kind of ended up with a high spirit on how things go in the event and in the day and from the entire vibe of the place and the people that were there Everyone was like super nice and engaging and supportive. For the first time selling on a market, it was so, so, so good. And I am really happy that we took a chance on this and that we made it. So we are here at the market. So we have one more for us. The day has been going so far pretty well. Um, better than I expected. And it's only like 7 p.m. I believe. So yeah, only three more hours to go. So now, talking numbers because I know that you are interested in this part and so am I. <laughs> because you know it's it's important to actually be honest with what things are looking like and I want to be the most transparent that I can be with you here because we are all learning in this journey. The table fee was actually 45 euros, which I actually managed to cover up within the set, which was, I was having very low expectations. So my primary goal was to at least make back the table fee, which we did. We managed to make it back and to actually make profit on top of that. So I have a total of like um, almost 50 sales in products so when I subtract the table fee, it was like 150 something in profit. I'm doing this because from that, of course, I am trying to make back the investment that I did in materials, in things to display products on the table. And this is almost, almost covered in full. It's still missing a little bit more, but I believe that within the next few markets. If this were such well received, I hope that maybe in future first, the outcome will be equally as good, if not better. And so I will probably manage to recover entirely the investment that I have been doing, and uh, maybe even start to recover the entire investment that I have been doing for the online shop, which is something that is also 
an important part of managing a business is that you really need to recover the money that you have been initially spending into making things going. So far, I was really happy with those numbers. For my first time, it was only like seven hours and when you calculate how much the hour of work that day came out, it was like 29 euros the hour, which was really good, at least for me. Maybe someone who has more experiences in markets will be like, girl, that's not really even close to being a good, but what? For me, it was good for the first experience, for the first place, for the theme of the place that I was going in, for the amount of products that I was getting, it was only prints and stickers, so that was it. For that side, we are very, very, very happy with the results. To talk about what worked and what maybe did not work that well, I got a couple of surprises that day. The best sellers were actually the postcards with this baby being the number one seller in the entire afternoon. So much that this is pretty much the only one that I have left. So hurry up if you want it because I don't have right now the material to restock this so it will take me maybe a while to make this one back. She was followed by this little girl over here. She was the second one best of the postcards. For the sticker parts, can you guess who win the best sticker place in this afternoon? This baby is also the last one that I have right now. Like, only one. I need to restock these little fellows, but I really love these stickers. I was not that much surprised that it had such a good reception. It was followed by this other one. This one also did pretty good. I still got a few of those. So please go to my online shop and grab those babies because they are like almost running out. Now, my surprise was on the prints section. I had large prints in A4 format and I had some small prints in A5 format, which is like half of the other one. And I actually thought because of my online store experience, the mini prints, they sell better than the larger ones and I thought that maybe those were the ones who were going to like have the most of the sales in the afternoon. And for my surprise, people were actually taking the large prints. I was like shocked of that because of course they were the more expensive item on my table and I did not even have like a bag to, be, to give to people, which was something that it was like on my side. I actually did buy a couple of paper bags, like gift bags, for when people did these kind of purchases that I can like put them somewhere and then they can take it safely and comfortably during the event. But when the bags arrived, they were teeny tiny <laughs> little bags. It was my bad because I did not check the size of the bags. I thought that, you know, people would be like more uncomfortable by taking the larger prints than the smaller ones. And it was the entire opposite thing people were like digging a lot the large prints and they were like the third best seller uh, from all the products that I was having which was actually made me really happy because people were like so nice telling me how much they liked the work and how much they liked the colors and seeing their reaction in first person I was like talking to my husband and it was like something from like another world when you work so much online and all that you got is the five span of attention that you get from people on social media, people not always take the time to like say, hey, I love your work and this looks so nice. Or, but in person, people actually express themselves. Even if not with words, they express it with their, their, their face and their body expression. They were like, oh my God, I'm gasping and everything. And, talking to each other, this is so you! And I was like, oh my God, I got goosebumps just to remember that. Because when you start doing these things and sharing your work online, there comes a lot of self-doubt and questioning yourself if you're doing things right, if your work is maybe not appealing enough or not connecting enough with other people. I do, most of my work is original work and so it comes from a very, very personal place. So I understand that 
it might be harder for others to connect with it and see themselves within the work, but seeing these very, very nice people in the event telling me how much they loved it and how it was so connected to them. There was this girl who got a mushroom sticker and she was like, I have this tattoo of an alchemist and it was like, you know, it's connecting with people even if sometimes you are not exactly giving that message to something people can bring into their own life and experiences and it is so nice guys to see this in person that i cannot be thankful enough for all the people who went by and who bought something that day and who were just letting me know how much they like their work you really really made my day not my mom you have made because it was such a highlight to see you reacting so beautifully to something I made with so much love, really. So to give some closure to this little vlog, I had a great time, guys, doing these art markets. I was also got myself really mentally prepared and got like some catchphrases that I could use to engage with people. In general, it was an amazing experience I am very happy with the reception of the work, with how it went financially as well, which is it's important. We ended up exhausted, even though it was just half day. We ended up really tired and I had to take Monday. I did take it like slower and you know, it was an amazing experience and I really want to go and do it again. Now I have a couple more of our markets that are coming in November, which I will be letting you know in future videos because I also have to like make some preparations for those, restock some stuff. So yeah, we are going to see each other in the next week's video so please if you like this if you like my content if you like leave me a comment have you ever take part on those art fairs do you want to take part on those art fairs what would be your expectations on it if you have any questions that maybe i just skipped during this little talk with you let me know subscribe to the channel because i have been doing this now for a year which i haven't shared about it but i will and i intend to keep doing this for a little bit longer so if you want to see more content and getting to know how is my journey going and if this is, is working or if it's not, then please join, tag along, be welcome and see you in the next one. Bye bye.